How does it feel to see a, a, a beautiful sunset, to, to hear a, a Gustav Mahler symphony? It's an immensely satisfying experience. I, I just can't get enough of hearing it. Still, today, um, things like this are the most complex musical instruments ever built. They're almost the most complex machines ever built. This probably has on the order of half a million separate parts. This organ uh, was shipped from the Wurlitzer factory on December 23rd, 1927, and it's been here ever since. There, there's only uh, a few hundred theater organs left and only a couple dozen still in their original theaters. The pipes were arranged in ranks or sets. A set of pipes is a rank to us organ people. Uh, there's one, one pipe per note. Each, each rank is kind of like an instrument in an orchestra. So what we want to do is identify which pipe is out of tune and put it back in tune. Different kinds of pipes have different tuning methods, usually requiring some piece to be slid or adjusted in one, one way or another. Jim Riggs became the house organist here um, about four years ago. Different organists have different styles. Jim is very calm, very laid back. He doesn't play movie scores. He improvises his accompaniments based on research that he's done about the film and themes that he writes for the characters and the, the situations. But he's putting it all together in real time, which is an extremely creative thing to do. He is making art while 3,000 people watch. Good, good, good. Okay, set that one. Most all the scores for silent films are now lost. What I like to do is compose my own music, and I like to do it largely on the spot, uh, because that's the way art should be. It should be, when it's created in front of an audience, uh, it just shouldn't be the same all the time. It's the only theater organ in Seattle left in its original location. The, the sound of this organ in this room is a sound you can't hear anywhere else.